Hey, this is Dave with Dave Trains, and this is a very short update. Uh, like a lot of people that have been watching uh, their videos, it's, uh, it's getting to be springtime, and then with uh, Rona kind of seems to be dying off, or maybe everybody's just uh, tired of hiding under a rock. Everybody's getting out, and I know at work I've been uh, having to work more. Uh, as a matter of fact, I may be going to Mexico at the end of this month or first of next month. So, just have just waiting to see about that. But anyway, I just want to show you what uh, what little I've got done uh, just to get back in the swing of things and working on the railroad and actually fooling around with it a little bit. So, let me turn this camera off and I'll take you over here to the other side and show you what I got done. Okay, so you can see I've got uh, Sean's restaurant placed. Uh, I'd hoped to get the uh, parking lot done for it, but I just wanted to get a video out uh, uh, before I got into a situation where I, you know, next thing I know it's two months before I have an update. So, you know, I got this placed. I got the roads finished. Um, and on hindsight, uh, probably needed this whole area raised up a little bit to, to bring it closer to the track level, but. Uh, it is what it is, uh, so uh, based up the road crossing, worked on that, all I've got left is deciding whether I want to use a piece of styrene in the center of the rails as a crossing or make my own uh, wooden crossing or purchase one, so not quite sure where I'm going to go with that yet. Uh, this little area over here, I tried something different, I used some forest foam and you can it's pretty soft. You can maneuver it, uh, uh, mold it in the shapes you want. And just wanted to get a little bit of elevation. Um, uh, you know, I've watched uh, Boomer dioramas and I've uh, just been experimenting with uh, instead of painting different type of uh, uh, ground cover and rocks just to see what I get. But this area will have a lot of trees in it, so kind of a make it like a, a break for the. The rails are running behind it to kind of hide that. And then um, over here in Sean's restaurant, I've got to make a sign and probably put it on gravel parking lot. And then some trees in the back to help uh, fix that break right there. So let me turn this off and go to the front side and get you a closer look up to the little senior area that I did. Okay, so like I said, I use some uh, forest foam, forest, florist foam. Say that ten times, and uh, just you can just mold it with your hands, and because uh, I just basically wanted some slight elevation, and you know, try different type of ground foam and static grass. I don't have a static grass applicator, but um, adding it in there just gives it a little bit of texture, and then some of this a uh, little bit bigger uh, talus. Um, to put it in there. I, I think it turned out alright. Um, you know, you can let me know what you think, but once I get the trees back there, I think that scene will help cover this this back uh, rail as it is, and then I can still clean it if need be. But, uh, but personally, I just find out if I can just run trains on it every so often until uh, I get down here uh, in a more I guess uh, regular basis, uh, it seems to do pretty good. Uh, so anyway, this is the other side of the road. Um, I don't remember last video. I've got all this completed over here and uh, over next to the woods furniture. So basically, it's uh, this corner right here is to finish around Sean's restaurant, add some trees, and uh, and some scenic. Uh, and some scenery on the off side of the tracks. I think I'll be done with this area and then I can move to this area which is just going to be more of a rural area. I don't know where I'm going to put all my locomotives but um, you know a farm scene just basically uh, fields and a farm scene from there. Alright so let me turn this off and get back from the camera here.
Well, that's it. It's a little tiny, small update, but um, like I said, I wanted to get something out because next few weeks I'm not sure what my schedule is going to be and what's going to happen. So, as always, if you want to follow along this little in scale journey, uh, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, if you like the video, give some likes. And always leave a comment. Always enjoy your comments. I hope everybody's doing good. And you have a great week. And we'll talk to you later. Bye bye.